<laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to <laughs> God damn it, CCL Season 53 First round match Between Rick Reckless with his undead And 04 Coach With his lizard men In the booth with me is Dimmy G the champ And Jack Bow uh, Jack Bow The Hello. donut champ <laughs> The donut the champ, donut yeah. champ. <laughs> Hello everybody We have Mr. Reckless like Big name Big name, and he's mediocre undead. They're like pretty man. They, they're all right. He's got a couple of gargoyles, which are interesting. No. Double skull straight oh, off the bat. A, a lot wow. of undercooked teams in this uh, Chalice playoff, huh? Yeah, almost uh, like yeah, people played like, a bit less with Blood Bowl three coming out. Well, that's exactly what it was, right? Not as many games going around, longer times to spin, people splitting between two different versions. Mm. I mean, with Undead, there's only so cooked you can get them anyway, do you know what I mean? Like, That's true. Yeah, but his, his mummies are severely undersized, right? You would you usually get, what, another 10 games to, to work <laughs> on those. I mean, normally mummies have two skills, right? They have guard and stand firm, and that's it. Like, yeah, so... <clears throat> yeah, he could, have, he could have tried to skill this one up more. Um, no, and you pray for block, play. obviously. Like, he's got a tackle pommer, he's got a DP, he's got, he's got like, a couple of guard, like... On the goals and stuff, which is pretty valuable. Yeah, it's pretty decent. The worst thing about it is that he's chosen to take skeletons instead of <laughs> zombies. Oh, no, <laughs> no, no, he no. likes skeletons. Yeah, he's only got three goals as well, which is, and he's got like no. He's, he's benching a carrier. Goal. He's benching a goal. Oh, yeah, is we, he? Benched, we benched a goal. But he's, he's not got like a sure hands, blodge, sidestep. Goal, yeah, he doesn't he have a carrier. Yeah, 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 he doesn't have a carrier. Goal. Well, it, it's, this guard one's a bit like a carrier, right, with blodge step, but um. Yeah, he hasn't really got a carrier ghoul. And uh, lizard men are pretty good having two mighty blow tacklers for hitting ghouls. Um, but, you know, obviously would like more guard on the team. And really nice skink there. And a really fast skink there. So two crazy skinks. This one's armor six. <laughs> but yeah, this is amazing skink, isn't it? Move nine. Yeah. Four. Beautiful Brandy. skink. Beautiful. Oh, I hate this blitz. I mean, I see why he does it. It's a good player to hit, with a good player to hit him. But, like, you know, if you're putting all of this down this side, you've got to blitz down this side as well, right? Somehow. Maybe so, even uh, like Dim Crocs blitz. Dimmy, you didn't even comment on my artwork that I sent you today. Uh, Yeah, I just thought it was average, mate. Mediocre. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> I don't know who the geezer is. Like, I, I don't know who the geezer is. You don't know who Master Blaster is? No, the geese are on top of him. <laughs> how, you, how can you know? <laughs> oh my god, Jimmy, help me, the, please. <laughs> not the geese are on top of him. It's oh. Master Pastor. I've never heard of Master Pastor. Oh man, it was, it was what's it called? Uh, Mad Max, wasn't it? Mad Max. Yeah, Mad oh, Max no, Beyond Thunderdome. Yeah. Never seen Mad Max. Oh wow. Do I have to watch that as well? You made me watch. You made me watch that. Uh, what's his name? Bloodsport, baby. Bloodsport. Yeah. yeah. So you made me watch Bloodsport. It was good. Such it? a great film. It was alright. It was. It was. It was greatly crap. Yeah. Like, it was. It was. Yeah. What did did Rick not hit this? Did he run out of time? I don't know. Got to hit this guy. Maybe he didn't want a one in nine. Did he got use the reroll already this time? I guess you don't have to, because, but it's still five plus. Mm -hmm. to get well, if you'd use the reroll, then I can understand it. If you hadn't used the reroll, I probably would have given it a shot. Yeah, five plus to hit the ball is pretty pretty scary. Oh, frog is dead. <laughs> oh, that's horrendous. Yeah, that, that was that was a tough region. one to take there. We were he not happy about that death. <laughs> he didn't even regen. Well, yeah, diced. My goals never regen. Yeah, so I guess it pays off for all four coach going for the that. Wild blitz the other turn, but why is he going so far back? Because uh, he doesn't want to get hit. I mean, look at this guy; he just doesn't want to hit. He's, he's just protecting Super Skink at this yeah. point. No, I meant the Saurus, like, not the Skink. Yeah, the he's Saurus running, blocking for him. him. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't know why he's so far up. Uh, I don't know why he can do the five plus to hit the ball. Honestly, I'd have just, I'd have just dodged this Skink through, and then dodge the, dodge the Saurus off, and just nail the carrier. Nailed the carrier. Did you put player. the reroll in? Four rerolls here. Yeah, why not? Yeah. yeah exactly. I think you should have so just Jim, tried harder to, to disrupt. 
I heard I heard you're going to make a uh, an appearance there at uh, Nick's Travaganza, man. That's awesome. I, I'm there for both Nick Con and Jim Con. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to, I'm glad to hear you're going, brother. Thanks. I look forward to your coverage from the event. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and stream on my phone. And it should be a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's saying Fury Road, you're lucky that I'm not banning anybody. <laughs> what is Fury Road? I don't even know what Oh my god, Jimmy, what is wrong with you? You sound like Elliot now. Oh mate, it's so bad. There, there, was, a, there was like the new the new uh, one that they made, the new Mad Max movie they made, and it was awful. It was so bad. What are you talking about? It was awful. It was great. It was literally one of the worst movies that, like, you oh know, my god, the, it, Jesus Christ! You know, Jim. obviously, some movies are worse, right? Like the movies that are really terrible, right? Or, or bad. <laughs> but th this is the this was the worst one to like kind of any production values at all. This is an easy hit on the ball here, isn't it? Whoops. Whoopsie, the nice play though to spot it and, and set it up. Gotta reroll. Purple Chest, mm. will you help me with Jim here about Fury Road, please? I mean, you can't help me, I'm just gonna ban people. <laughs> I'm just gonna ban people. <laughs> There's no helping. There's I no gotcha. helping. <laughs> it's not fun, it's not fun because okay, it's so no here's, here's, no here's the thing, here's the thing, Jimmy. You gotta you, you have to watch Fury Road like you're watching the average James Bond flick. It's just no. there to enjoy. No, I no, it's way, it's way worse than that. It's way worse than that. It's like it's literally the worst. Honestly, it's terrible. There's no characters and there's no stakes and there's nothing. It's just literally if you like watching car chases in movies, which I think are one of the worst things in movies anyway. Yeah, if you like watching great. car chases but without any characters in, it's a great movie. <laughs> Thanks, Dadle. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> People are just... I can't believe this. It's <laughs> ridiculous. I'm just, I'm beside <laughs> my, I am literally beside myself right now. <laughs> How is that possible? Oh, wow. He just goes for the Skellington pickup. Glorious. Wrestle Skellington pickup. Yeah. I mean, I like but, it because... Yeah, Rick just wants to get that ball off the ground with those super skinks around, dude. Best ball carrier in the game is the rest of killer. Yeah. I mean, all it, those things PC with no story and no characters. I mean, that that's quite important. That part. I'll me, tell you, I'll tell, I'll tell you who the rest of skeleton is better ball carrier than is uh, Acorn. <laughs> is Acorn. <laughs> <laughs> but only just, you know. Yeah, only just. He's nearly almost. a good. He's nearly a good. Uh, ball he's carrier. almost a really good ball carrier. <laughs> or or Dimmy's version, Ecorn. Because the funny thing, I'll tell you what I'd compare it to, which is what pe people who are pro Fury Road, right? Watch Terminator. Terminator is like fucking god tier. It's better than Terminator 2. Everyone who thinks Terminator 2 better is wrong. Right. No, no, Terminator 1 was, was better. Yeah, Terminator, Terminator 1 was better. Because because that's first got... of all, obviously it's better because it's the original, because it's just it's something you've never seen before, is it, right? Is it Kyle, Kyle Terminator Reed? 2 was very well done, but Terminator 1 killed it. Yeah, and that, that was sick, right? And that's all action from the start, right? There's no let up at all. But it's hey. actually got characters in a story that you care about, and, and Fury the, Road doesn't. Is the actor who, in Terminator 1, Kyle Reese or whatever his name is, is he Hicks in Aliens? He is, yeah. Yeah. He's uh, Hicks. He's also um, Johnny Ringo in um, Tombstone. Mm, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's also the pretty, bad he's, guy he's in... Um, what's, what's, his, what's his name? What's his name? What's the, what's the movie where they're under the water? He's got it. Um, he's the bad guy Navy SEAL when they're in that... Um, the Abyss. Mm. Uh, Michael Bean. There you go, Steve Motti. Is that his name? My, my yeah, Michael Bean. He's a he's a really he's a good actor. He has to be in the right roles, but he's a good actor. Yeah, yeah he's been in lots of things. Oh, Rick gets to hit the the super skink. Doesn't get to kill him. And he gets to pile on. Kills him. Well, in amongst this, Rick has slaughtered his team. <laughs> Just quietly. <laughs> like, only chaos. But still, like, there's not... He's not got anyone left. Like, <laughs> Rick's got the ball in Skellington and there's nobody left to hit it anymore. <laughs> maybe this... Maybe this... Saurus can GFI around the back. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, he can double GFI. Flip me. Oh, what? Why didn't he hit? 
Was it? Oh, wasn't a blitz? Always move on five. Always move, busted. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> he can only go busted. so far. <laughs> He's move, busted. Oh my god. Why, why hasn't he hit him? He didn't declare a blitz or what? Oh no. There's no point. In why, why hit? Come on, just leave it as is, right? Just move five. Oh dear. Just hand off to the cool. Mm. Hand off to the. Uh... Is he gonna know? He's just gonna. He's just gonna keep it on the Skellington. Oh, probably just so he can show that he's movement five, right? And that's why. That's why it's good. <laughs> Rick just showing that movement five is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And we and it's hilarious because I was I was doing comms obviously with uh, Volk and Volk was giving him shit about that movement five guy like two minutes before that turn. <laughs> And I said, "Well, look at what happened. You got you got one Saurus who can only move five spaces, and you got a you got a, a mummy that can move five and is actually able to make the block." Yeah, amazing, amazing though, because it works out perfect, right? The the five is just enough to get him in without GFI, so it was definitely right to carry on it as long as he doesn't lose it. Which Oh, was so that Jim Timothy is... Oliphant in, in The Mandalorian? Wow, I didn't even recognize him. Jim, is uh, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Of course it is. Okay, you get a pass on that one then. <laughs> it's the trying to, Christmas movie. Yeah, trying, it's to the corner, movie. trying to corner you. <laughs> Die Hard and Gremlins. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah, of course Gremlins. Gremlins actually has snow in it, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Oh, we're Eagles Dare, excellent film. Die Hard is at a Christmas party. Yeah. I is it a It's a Christmas party in Nakatomi Towers. Nakatomi yeah. Tower, but is it I don't know if it's a Christmas party or it if is it's a Christmas party, yeah. If it's the year end party. I know it's over Christmas, but I couldn't remember if it's at the Christmas because yeah, I was remember, come out to the coast, you'll have a good time, we'll have a drink of friends. <laughs> when he's in the uh, when he's in the um, the rafters. Yeah. Yeah, Christmas it is party. a Christmas party. Okay, PC. See, PC, I believe, right? Because the guy <laughs> yeah, says, I noticed that. I noticed yeah. that. Don't, don't yeah. worry. I noticed that. <laughs> don't ever believe, Dimmy. Yeah, Raven. I reckon, like, honestly, when I saw, when I saw, when I saw him in it, I was like, oh, that's an actor, but I couldn't remember it. Like, I, I didn't know who it was, oh, but I knew an actor. he was an actor. Yeah, that's, that's a good caller, Jim. Yeah, that's I knew he was an actor, right? but I didn't know who he was. <laughs> <laughs> that's wild. Why well, he looks so, He looked old, didn't he? He looked old in that. Holy shit! Okay, Jim. The, one of the next films you're gonna have to show on your uh, on your film days is uh, Kelly's Heroes. No, I don't, I don't fancy Kelly's Heroes. You don't like Kelly's Heroes? What's wrong with you? I don't know that I've ever seen it, and I don't want to see it. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you mean you haven't never seen it? It's a great I, film, man. I don't think I've seen it. It's so old, isn't it? It's an older film, yeah. It's got some great actors in it. Another Clint Eastwood's movie. in it. Don Rickles is in it. Is that the apple? Yeah. Dirty Dozen's an excellent film. <laughs> Mate, Rick is absolutely banging. Dirty Dozen. I wasn't a fan of the Dirty. I've seen the Dirty Dozen. wasn't a, wasn't a big fan. I mean, I was younger when I saw it. Maybe I'd like it more now. But I wasn't a big fan of the Dirty Dozen. Oh, only one out of five. Oh. Yep. Brutal. Oh, I mean, Dirty Dancing is amazing. <laughs> oh Dirty Dancing God. is amazing. Jesus Christ. I definitely oh rewatched Dirty oh Dancing. My God. Okay, Jim, just for that one, I do not want you to go to Nick's Travaganza tomorrow. <laughs> I don't want you to have to show your face and be laughed at. <laughs> I just don't want that to happen. I've, I've done the Dirty Dancing lift with Dimmy <laughs> in five videos. <laughs> I know you have. It was beautiful, too. <laughs> So why would I not like Dirty Dancing? <laughs> oh, that was so brilliant too. And I even, you gotta admit though, it was a brilliant move by your uh, your humble dungeon master to get Daedal to actually sing the song too. <laughs> it was glorious, yeah. <laughs> because he was a bard after all. <laughs> yeah, Raven, that is the Donald Sutherland. He plays, uh, he plays Oddball, yeah. He go, woof woof, that's my other dog impression. 
Enough with the negative waves. Um, yeah, yeah, this is the right. Yeah, thing. I forgot about that. That you guys did that, and then we had Dadel singing the song. Mm -hmm. And remember, I would give you guys advantage of Dadel saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was glorious. Wasn't it? <laughs> it was beautiful. Nutty. Probably should, you know, yeah, it's, it's probably correct to never try it with the Arch, right? Because the Arch has to pick it up with sure hands and two plus. And the problem is, like, handing it, like, handing it off, like, the, the move nine is much better at getting through on twos, right? Than getting through on threes, but it's got dodge, so it's probably fine. Probably got to do it this way. Could have still tried to get a push, though, right? Could have tried to get a push. But, um, there you go, one in nine's the catch. Needs to roll better on his KOs if he wants a chance. Don't worry, he does. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> he did. Well, there you go. It was a bit of a typical Rick game, wasn't it? But now, it's basically reset. 11 versus 11? No, 10. Oh, wow, the guy only had 11? No, no, it is 11 versus 11. Yep, 11 versus 11. And uh, all to play for. In fact, it's been a better half for all four coach, really, right? Because uh, well, this isn't Rick's, Rick's school is gone. Oh, did you? Oh, you already skipped over the. Uh, oh, you saw the one turn that wasn't. Yes. <laughs> God damn this! Thing, these games move fast when you're watching them. <laughs> mm, yeah, replays are really you know, great. Around, <laughs> what's your average replay time? Like thirty-five minutes per game. Yep, pretty much. Yeah. Unless it's overtime. Yeah, yeah, glorious. Eh? Oh wow, the coffin call. Yeah, look at that kick, dude. <laughs> I mean, easy pickup still, right? Two, two oh, yeah. Hands, so. so here's... So on this half, Jim, tell me if you agree with me or not. I was very surprised that he even made a move forward. I think he moves forward on, like, turn 12 or so with his skinks. Yeah. And considering he's got a natty, I would have just left him in the backfield until turn 15 and then started moving forward. Yes, yeah, I would like... I would half Dakar here. <laughs> I would half Dakar. Yeah, just, just punch away with the big boys, right, and leave all this. Because if you watch here, after he picks up the balls, all the skinks are, or picks up the ball, all the skinks are totally protected. They're just in the backfield, and they're they're hanging they're hanging out and living the good life. Yep. Mm. All the skinks are hanging out in the backfield. Living the good life. That's not a spoiler, Kay, because that, that's not the ultimate. I just... I just wanted his viewpoint on the on if you know the, on the tactics here. It's it's very interesting. I mean, it also depends like what Rick does as well, right? But but generally, yeah, like doubt. you know, a very I, flexible lizard man. I, um, I actually put it out to um, to Volcajo. I said sometimes it's almost like some coaches feel like they have to move pieces <laughs> every turn. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean that's. <laughs> no, 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 but, but just, just watch. Just watch, Dimmy. Just watch. It's like, you just, you, there's no need to move anything this, almost this entire half. Yeah, I mean, but the half dacker, so the half dacker is where you dacker, you know, but on the halfway line and still get beaten up. The thing is, of course, he's Lizardman, so he should be the one doing the beating rather than getting beaten up, right? So he should, like, he be basically benefits from a half dacker because he just gets to beat up the, the, the undead and hang around on the halfway line. So yeah, I would just very pile fast. in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I would just pile in and smash the shit out of the uh, undead right now. Like double skulls. Yep, skulls into his reroller. I mean, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> I would have blitzed the. Uh, I would have blitzed the white. Right? Move this guy in here. Blitz the white, and then uh, blitz him back in as well. Or in fact, I could have even blocked him first and into another hit. I don't know. Whatever I would have done, I would just try to max blocks. Just max blocks, just completely max blocks. That's the uh, that's what you have to do, right? That's all you have to do as the list men is max the blocks you're taking, minimize the blocks you're maximize the blocks you're making, and minimize the blocks you're taking. Is literally all you have to do. Well, and he's got all the strength advantage too. Mm. Yeah, and Rick's got to somehow try and get something with his palmer, basically. Yeah, he's got a freedom of me because well, what he could have done is is is, is I say he could have done that block first, right? And then then if he gets the push, he would have had a hit with a mighty blow as well. So probably probably you know just ordering mistakes in general, he could have. Uh, See, I I I'm, I'm kind of agreeing there with LOD. I thought he should have just based that mummy and left him there. 
No, no. Because you had to move three lizard men over. Or, I'm sorry, three, um, three sauri over in order to make the block in the first place. Saurus. No, no. Once once you get the push, you've got to just push him away because otherwise he's going to hit you with mighty blow, and you just don't want to get hit with mighty blow. Yes, sauri. S a u r a i. Sauri. It's Saurus. <laughs> It's Saurus. Is he going for the foul here? This this is what this move looks like. Oh, I guess hitting that mummy as well is pretty decent. Yep, Saurus is the correct plural. Correct, Daedle. It's Saurai, so you know. It's Saurus. <laughs> One million percent. <laughs> <laughs> Diced. Oh, why wow, doesn't stand fair? Yeah, it doesn't fall. I mean, it's. Well, Jabez, so sauropods are actually four footed. So I don't know if these would qualify. I know they're bipedal. They don't run on all fours like the werewolves do, so. I don't know if we would go with sauropods on these. <laughs> it's Saurus because that's what Games Workshop said. Games Workshop invented this creature and they decide what it is so it's Saurus. so they oh they invented the word saurus huh interesting they invented the species wow, saurus I, in their I always thought it was world. the greeks who invented the word saurus but i don't know <laughs> the shit. well shit well shit i'm sorry latin thank you well no latin so latin is what the romans no well latin is pretty much everybody at the, the church the church came up with it <laughs> Um, no, the only that's, ones not, Latin that's anymore. not correct, PC. It's Saurus. <laughs> it's literally Saurus, because that's what Games Workshop say. They don't say it's okay to use other things. They say it's Saurus, so it's Saurus. It's, it's Saurai. We can agree it's Saurai. I'm, I'm just, <laughs> we can just leave it there. We can leave it there, because it's definitely Saurus. That's what it is. There is no. I mean, I was saying Jay Bazza that no, no. I was saying Jay Bazza that the the church is the only one who uses Latin anymore. <laughs> so they've just they've they've made it their own. There is no argument. There is no discussion to be had. That is it. Okay, so see there. So he pulls the piece across midfield there, and then just chills. Yes. It's like so. Why why not just leave them in the backfield? That's what I didn't understand. Well, I mean, this is fine. I mean, you could argue that this skink doesn't have to be four. This skink could be here. Yeah, but that, that's what I'm saying. He, if he, he's exposing those skinks. This skink Even if it really is only exposed, one or two right? of them. This isn't really exposed. You'd have to, what, cheat one, two, three, four, five. You'd have to GFI with a scanning to hit him. But I mean, he could, I would still not have put him there. But... Fuck off, PC. <laughs> <laughs> That's playing a board game, not playing the fucking PC game. Don't even try and pull that on me. <laughs> they pull on. Pull on? No, don't try to pull that on me. Pull, uh. pull that on me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I, I don't hate pushing forward here, honestly. I, I actually don't hate pushing forward here. I also don't hate just banging down the uh, banging down the mummy. But I wouldn't have hated blitzing through this Gunnington and just just caging up here for the rest of the half with three turns, like only three turns to stall. It would have been pretty easy. But also hitting the hitting the mummy with mighty blow is pretty decent. Try to get a bit more in. I don't like doing both. Doing both is a bit shit, right? If he's like, if he's actually trying to push forward here, I guess it's, I get that it's a good player, but I'd rather hit the. If I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna go on back over here, I'm blitzing this guy with him. See, he's basing him anyway, so I'm blitzing him as a better, higher value target. But I really like moving forward this turn. So funny enough, there you go. There's your answer, Jack. Well, I would have definitely moved forward this turn. Um, because the this guy was stunned. This guy was stunned the turn before, wasn't he? So he's down. He's down. The point is he's down. Um, <laughs> whether he was stunned or not, I don't remember. The fact that this guy is down, I would have got my whole team up here, and uh, and Rick wouldn't have been able to do much about it. I got a goal. I got one goal. Yeah. 
but yeah, you're right, yeah. See, and then if I did what he does here, then I blitz this guy, then maybe he can't do that hit and solidify it. So I, I didn't like the fact that he tried to do both at once. You don't want to split your team up like this with lizards, because then you can just get one on one mark by skeletons. That guy gets, gets. See, so now he's lost his crocs where he could have maybe defended it. Daggy. But now we can blitz with him and come across and move around. So yeah, I'll move down the field here. This is very strong moving down the field this turn. And he could have gone further. I don't know why he only went to here. He could have gone like gone to here. So he, he should have just gone further with the ball. First of all, he should have gone further with the ball. He's like randomly just not gone far enough. And this is a terrible blitz because this guy is is marked on a skeleton away from the ball. So this is where the blitz is, 100%. Yep. Yeah, I agree. And now he's blocked his path for getting this guy around a bit. Which he does, but yeah, he could have had another, he could have had another Saurus like here or something. Oh, and now he's pushed him forward and let him get tagged on the backside. Fend. So there you go, great fend value from Rick. So yeah, this is a pretty, pretty poorly played turn, I would say, from 04 coach. 04. But it is understandable that he thinks he can do whatever he wants, yeah, because they're lizard men. He's, you know, Rick's down players. Um, but you know, he did lose that Crocs, and this is a bit, bit lackadaisical, isn't it? Like just in, getting instant pressure on the ball here was. Not what you should be able to do. Yeah, he's lizard men. So sorry, Kales D. That's just this is just the fact. <laughs> lizard men are brutal, man. They're brutal. They're pretty good. Mm. I, I will be happy if I don't see any this weekend. Yeah, but yeah, the, the ball should have been further down, and then this should have been better protected. He, he could have had like a screen of Saurus protecting the cage of Skinks, but instead. The Saurus did nothing, and Rick got all these three players too. Three players through, which made it interesting. But this is still relatively easy. All he has to do is blitz this Skellington. <laughs> and, uh, in fact, blitz this Skellington. So, yeah. So, of course, he's got Mighty Blow here. But what he has to do is blitz this Skellington and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, GFI, maybe? And this guy goes there. So so this, this skink goes to here. The ball goes to there. And then he goes one, two, three, four, five. Maybe he's du double GFI. Oh. It's a bit rubbish, but he's, he's got to do it with him anyway. But he just blocks. But that was the play. One, two, three, four, five. Double GFI. No, you can Instead still do it with this guy. You can do it with this guy. Um... But it's worse because of wrestle, right? So this was just definitely worse because this was versus a wrestler and the other one was versus nothing. And then <laughs> he does the five plus dodge. Oh man! Yeah. What the flip? Yeah, which is just really, really wrong. And he said it wasn't a misclick. And he no, he realised that like so that he paused after he did the block. He paused for a while because obviously he realised that this was a dodge. But he, he still had time to change this player to the right player. And he just went for this his initial thing anyway, despite this guy being in the way. And then obviously, uh, this is pretty bad because it leads to, to his Saurus getting surfed. <laughs> and the ball carrier getting surfed as well, or or knocked over, one of the two. And as easy gets powered. Uh. And cast. <laughs> Is Rick not the luckiest man in Blood Bowl, like, honestly? <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. Yeah, now it's uh, now it's pretty much GG. GG! Yeah. GG! GG. So yeah, that was a... It was a real bad turn, wasn't it? That uh, turn... Playoff nerves. 14. Turn 14 was real bad. Turn yeah, maybe it was playoff nerves, you know? Maybe, maybe he thought he was playing the great Rick Reckless, and he, he got a bit uh, he got a bit of nerves and everything. Fair enough, isn't it? I've never got nervous playing Rick. I mean, no, neither have I. But <laughs> you can understand people doing so. He's won a chalice after all. Ne neither is Hesdorn. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> 
Spencer. I mean, I've never, I've never been, I've never been nervous playing anybody, but yeah, you can kind of understand it, right? You can, oh, I've you can... definitely been nervous playing people. Yeah, yeah. You Especially can... when there's five hundred dollars on the line. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, like it was pretty, it was pretty wild. Like I wasn't nervous, but I remember the game against uh, was it Core Knight in the final of Blitz Pit. Like that was pretty wild. Like, it was, uh... Yeah, that was a wild game. I enjoyed that one. Yeah, yeah it was it was a mental game. Like that, <laughs> that added to it. Like it was one of the craziest games I've ever played. And then plus it was like to win Blitz Pit and win some money as well. So like it was, there was a bit of a. I wouldn't say I was nervous, but it was definitely like it was a, it was a roller coaster of emotions, wasn't it? It was a crazy game. That's that's all anyone wants, isn't it? To be validated as a good bubble coach. That's all anybody ever wants, yep. <laughs> Best game is the Crucible game, well. Mm. Well, thanks. I, I did make a slight mistake, didn't I? Uh, not of as well as the no as well as the, no as, as not just not the gaping hole. There was like there was a minor mistake. Uh, the, the gaping hole was, was obviously just taking the eye off the ball at the end of the match. Um, but there wasn't. There, I'm sure there was a minor mistake at some point. Um, I'm sure that was at some point. <laughs> Not just the gaping hole. I mean, that was more of a meme thing. I mean, obviously it was terrible, but also, <laughs> like, you know, don't get me wrong, it was terrible, but it was unlikely to matter, right? It was really Ooh, unlikely. Skelly's leveled. Oh, glorious Skellington. Um, got the glory pass, did Rick? Unbelievable, classic Rick. Um, congrats to him. Commiserations to Z well, O4 coach, isn't it? Not zero four. O4 coach. And these old four lizard men, and thank you very much, Dimmy G, for being in the booth. Absolutely glorious, and uh, and Jack Boo, who seems to have done one at some point. Yeah, I'm uh, working. Give me one second, boys. He's working. There you go. Well, that's good enough. It doesn't matter. He, if this is your work is more important than this, Jack Bull. Um, you can just say marmalade. Just imagine those are marmalade there. From... Don't give him my line. Come on, man. No, marmalade. Come on. Okay, there you go. Dimmy did the marmalade. Uh... <laughs> 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 you can imagine that Jack Bull said peanut butter jelly. <laughs> it's not even jelly though, is it? Jello. Yeah, no, no. It, well, jelly's jam, isn't it? <laughs> 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 Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.